Hello everyone, it's Justin Cross here, your favorite truth Um, I want to talk a little bit about what's going on. You know, everyone's so biased nowadays. Um, everyone's just going by what this party says or what that party says, and it's really annoying. But the thing is, is let's look at things correctly. You know, I remember when Obama was first getting into office, I, I didn't want to vote for him because I thought he'd be a dictator. I thought he was really a Muslim. Um, I thought that he's very anti-Christ. I thought that he was going to bring the deficit up and increase the debt. Um, I thought he'd be shutting down oil and we'd lose jobs and inflation would skyrocket. I thought everything that most people thought. Um, and all that stuff turned out to be true. But uh, the thing is, with, with that party, we can see it's not what we thought. We can see it's actually a lot worse. But the, and this is this really is being totally fair here. You know, and the thing is, what I said already, a lot of people just get upset, get angry, and get offended because maybe perhaps they're black, or perhaps they're a uh, communist, or maybe they're a Democrat, and even though uh, Democrats would agree with what I'm saying, just because Obama calls himself a Democrat, they're going to see me as going after their party. Um, as we know, Obama's changed the Democrat party into a more communistic party. But, uh, let's be fair here and look at things the way they are. Um, right here Obama's talking about something and he says a, a really interesting line in his quote here. He said um, for gun owners, he said examine your conscience. Examine your conscience. Hmm. Let's think about that. Alright, let's look at facts and facts only. Since 9-11 has happened, thanks to Bill Clinton taking off all the air marshals off the planes in case there's a terrorist attack, thank you. Thank you, Bill. Appreciate that. Since 9-11 happened, police have become more and more powerful. And every year since then, we've seen an increase in police brutality. We've seen more murders every year by police abusing their powers and their authority. Obama, he made it illegal to film a police officer breaking the law. If a police officer was breaking the law in any way, whether it was a murder or robbing a place or beating someone, um, that that was illegal to do. Obama made that illegal. You, you cannot film a police officer doing anything bad. You, you would, it's a felony. So, an officer murders someone, you film it, you catch it, you throw it out there, that cop gets um, gets off, and you go to prison. How is this freedom, and how is this fair? Now, within the last four years of Obama's term, we've seen a serious increase in crime, especially amongst law enforcement and FBI agents. Uh... We've seen crime itself go up because of our deficit. Obama, you've shut down a lot of oil jobs because of you. I'm out of work now. A lot of people are out of work. Um, people at the steel mills are out of work. People in coal are out of work. And now you've taxed a lot of uh, coal mining companies out there on the East Coast in order to bring prices up on energy. You said that you... Uh, cut down on oil and drilling for oil in order to make gas more expensive to keep profits up to make your money from the people and that's what you said in the speech during the election you admitted that you were limiting jobs getting rid of wealth and bringing up the profits only for selected oil companies and destroying everyone else you admitted that and you said it like it was a good thing shame on you but this has caused people to become desperate and murders have gone up, and rape has gone up, everything has gone up. And now that the people who are meant to protect us are more evil than ever before, and people are getting jumped and murdered, and cops won't do their job. Here's the thing, I've called the cops over 30 times in my life. All right, A couple times my father assaulted me. Cops showed up, cussed me out, gave me a hard time, roughed me up a little bit for no reason, because my father was old and they were the same age. All right, I was beat up on the east side for, um, or on the east coast, for being from the west coast. I've been beat up in oil dells and hospitalized a few times. Had guns pulled out of me from police officers. 
because I had a ministry helping people get off drugs. And they said that if they ever saw me walk around with a Bible again, then my effing, um, what did they say? My effing, Jesus-loving, homeless, feeding ass will be found in a ditch. And now, you want to take our guns for our safety. You want us to be completely unprotected for our safety because those police officers who are messing people up, who are seen every day killing innocent people just because they're bored, yeah, we got to rely on them to protect us. We need to rely on the enemies. We need to rely on those that want to hurt and kill and destruct and destroy. Those are the people that we rely on now. How can we rely on the people that we're most scared of? Law enforcement is one thing, but police officers is another. And a police officer is someone who's gone through training to get a badge that says they're going to enforce the law, and they don't freaking do it. They go after the innocent. Right now, law enforcement in Kern County are the number one drug traffickers and gun runners in California. Kern County law enforcement deals more crystal meth than the whole West Coast. Everyone else on the West Coast put together. There are a bunch of racist killings out here of African American men for no damn reason. Because they're racist out here. And L.A., that's so sad that L.A. County, geez, they're, they're cops. At least they go after bad guys. They don't go after innocents. So why are we going to go ahead and get rid of our guns and just say, oh, here you are, enemies. Here you are, people who are destroying the Constitution, rewriting it. Here you are, dictators that have completely gone after us and destroyed us and got rid of our jobs and got rid of our money making, got rid of our wealth and has made the poor increase and have destroyed the health care system and has brought up health care to the point where it's unaffordable and the quality all the way down. Here you go. Here's our last line of defense. That is what this country was founded on for us to stay free from people like you. Shame on you. Shame on anyone who backs up Obama. Shame on anyone who is going to try and destroy the Constitution and our freedom and our rights and, and religion. All that stuff's being taken away. Obama's the one who made it illegal to have a cross in public. Clinton did the same thing before. This extreme Islamic socialist is someone to be feared. And a lot of you people out there just like, ha 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 because you don't care. You don't care that 90% of the United States citizens are going to lose their freedom and are going to have to be afraid of being a Christian. They're not going to, they're, they're going to lose their homes and their houses. Their families are going to be able to afford to, barely be able to afford to eat. Jobs are going to be so hard to come by, and we're all going to live like third world countries, but you don't care, because you get a free cell phone. And then healthcare, that's free, but it's not as good as what the free clinics will have used to have been like. Because everyone else is funding your drug habits. Thank you, Obama. You did a great job.